I have discovered the coolest thing in the world. No, it's not my antique rocking chair, and no, it's not my new poncho either. It's this, splitboarding. Splitboarding is essentially when you can karate chop a snowboard in half and use the two pieces sort of like snowshoes. You're able to get some fresh turns and access all kinds of wild terrain. I've actually wanted to get into splitboarding for years, but unfortunately, there's a really expensive entry fee. And for a long time, I pretty much just assumed it was never gonna happen. Just to get started, it's mandatory to buy a beacon, a shovel, a probe, some skins, boots, a backpack, and the actual split board. To get a nice new setup can cost anywhere between $1,000 and $3,000. That's always been a pretty unattainable price tag, but here's the deal. It's my dream! Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything i need to know everything who in the what in the where i need everything. the stars finally aligned this year and i was able to get my dream set up and with everything in place i was finally ready to play with my stuff in my apartment see i'm not quite ready to go out in the wilderness there's a huge part of backcountry that's talked about a lot, but never enough. So you obviously are the, I mean, like you helped me both choose and afford my split board setup. They, everyone say thank you, Dom. Thank you, Dom. How serious are avalanches? Cause I think like before looking into all this stuff, I kind of assumed avalanches like, yeah, there's some big ones, really big bad news stuff, but mostly it's like, oh, just a fun quick way down the mountain. How easy is it to get buried back there? And yeah. Yeah, so it really all just kind of depends on your snowpack. Most of the ones that people trigger are usually in the areas where they feel comfortable and feel safe. I mean, this year we're cursed with a with a hoar base layer. So it's all these little basically ball bearings and little spikies that all the snow has gone on top of. And so anything that breaks that layer from the other one, it will all just rip. It really just kind of depends on the area you're in and the kind of skiing that you're doing and the conditions of the year, what types of snow layers there are. No one, no one's safe from an avalanche. No matter how much you know, you can have all the knowledge in the world and still get slid on from someone above you who doesn't know what they're doing and they could set it off and push it into you. Someone being unlucky. I mean, I've had days where I go out and I think it's fine late spring and you're on a super like mellow slope and the thing just goes. Until I'm able to get some formal avalanche training and certifications, I figure the maiden voyage should probably be pretty mellow. So I hit up a good friend and asked if he wanted to do something way safer, which is just skinning up a ski resort where there's a literal 0% chance of an avalanche. So we threw on our skins and I immediately got unbelievably stoked. All right. All we had to do was clip in and start heading up. <laughs> Hey! Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Hey! And just like that, my dream had come true. I'd watched hundreds of videos of people doing this, and it was finally my turn. It was definitely a surprise to find out that I was pretty much the fastest ever, other than like a couple people. It was also a total shock to learn that I basically didn't need to learn any technique because I had it all pretty much nailed. <laughs> we got to a point that we called the top, switched back into snowboard mode, and that was when I knew I was completely in love with splitboarding. <laughs> 
So what I want to say is this. If there's something that you're incredibly interested in, but getting into it just doesn't make sense right now, be patient and don't give up on it. Because once it finally happens, it's going to be incredible. Heck yeah, man. That was so sick. And if it never does, just remember. You can always buy a rocking chair and a poncho, baby. That's like the same thing. 